Now that we've discussed the multiple ways to calculate income, let's go over a few examples. Asad and Jasmine are looking to purchase their first home. Asad makes $20.50 an hour and works an average of 40 hours per week. Jasmine makes $18 an hour and works 40 hours of regular time and 15 hours of overtime per week. How much income do each of them make? Remember, to calculate income for overtime, multiply the hourly rate by 1.5 for time and a half. Assad's income, $20.50 times 40 hours a week times 52 weeks a year divided by 12 is equal to $3,533.33 a month. Let's look at Jasmine's regular time income. $18 an hour times 40 hours a week times 52 weeks a year divided by 12 equals $3,120. Now let's take a look at Jasmine's overtime income. 18 times 1.5 for time and a half is equal to $27 times that by 15 hours a week times by 52 weeks a year divided by 12 is equal to $1,755 a month. Now let's add all of them together. Assad's income of $3,533.33 a week plus Jasmine's regular time income of $3,120 plus her overtime income of $1,755 is equal to $8,408 for their monthly income. Let's take a look at another example. Donovan and Kim are going to purchase their new home together. Donovan makes $40,000 a year on salary. Kim has a part-time job and makes $16.50 an hour at 20 hours a week. What is their monthly income? Donovan's income? 40,000 divided by 12 is equal to $3,333.33 a month. Let's take a look at Kim's income now. $16.50 times 20 is equal to $330 times 52 weeks is equal to 17,160 divided by 12 is equal to $1,430 a month. Now let's add both of them together. $3,333.33 plus $1,430 is equal to $4,763.33 as their monthly income. Let's look at one last example. Savannah and Julio are looking to refinance their home. Savannah makes $35,000 a year, plus she works a second job, which she has been doing for two years, and makes $12 an hour for 15 hours a week. Julio is on Social Security, and makes a non-taxable $1,500 a month. What is their combined monthly income? Remember to gross up the non-taxable income by 25%. Let's look at Savannah's income first. Her base income, $35,000 divided by 12, is equal to $2,916.67. Now for Savannah's second job, we'll take the $12 an hour, times that by 15 hours a week, is equal to $180 a week, times by 52 weeks is equal to $9,360, divided by 12 is equal to $780 a month. For Julio's income, we'll take his $1,500 and times it by 1.25, which is equal to $1,875 a month. Now let's add all of them together. Savannah's base income of $2,916.67, plus her second job income of $780, plus Julio's social security grossed up of $1,875 is equal to $5,571.67 for their total monthly income.